Okay, let's do this. Christmas Guide 2019. I have a pretty epic Christmas guide for you guys. I have for men and women, I'm combining it into one video and I've kind of put the fragrances into categories. So I'm gonna recommend one for men, one for women. I have one category for people that don't really love strong perfume. They don't want something too perfumey, if that makes any sense at all. They're more like lighter scent, something that they can just wear and not feel too disturbed. I have a recommendation for men and women. I have a category for our uh, more like teenage, younger crowd who maybe want something a little more fun, a little more flirtatious, a little young and youthful. I also have a category for our more uh, our more mature, classy, refined sort of people, maybe a little bit more um, conservative. I also have a category for a mass appealing niche fragrance. So I have a recommendation for men and women that are both niche, but I feel as though they are very mass appealing. Like you could potentially gift it to anyone in your life that does really love fragrance and you should be safe. I also have a category for like a classic signature scent. I also have a category of Parfum de Mali. I have a men and women's recommendation from Mali, of course. I also have a category from more of like a classy, beautiful, elegant sort of fragrance. I also have a category for a very uh, likable, easy to wear, all year round sort of scent. And then I also finally have a category for somebody who doesn't want to spend over $50. So I have something for everyone, I believe. So let's get into this list. The first category that I have is for somebody who doesn't really like fragrance too much. They more prefer the lighter scent, something um, not too much, not too in your face, very light, easy to wear, makes you feel fresh and clean. And these are my two recommendations. So this is my recommendation for men. This is Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks. Beautiful, aquatic, marine, salty, fresh, uh, juicy, a little uh, kind of um, citrusy a little bit as well. But for me, this is very likable, very easy to wear. It doesn't disturb you when you're wearing it. It's very refreshing. That is my recommendation for somebody in your life who is not the biggest fan of like really intense colognes. They're just maybe getting into it. This is my recommendation. And for women... I have Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So this one, again, is very easy to wear, very likable. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't have the best longevity, which kind of does suck, but the scent itself is so easy to wear, so beautiful, so light. It has sage, um, salt. Uh, how to describe it? To me, it just smells clean, um, a little salty, a little aromatic, some citrusy grapefruit sort of note in there. I'm not gonna lie, these two remind me a lot of each other. Uh, Pacific Rock Moss just has that more aquatic marine vibe to it. So for me, these are two winners for somebody who doesn't really like fragrance too much. And next up, we have our younger crowd. These are my two recommendations for the younger people in your life. Uh, let's start with the women's. Poison Girl Eau de Toilette from Dior. Uh, Honestly, be careful. This one is a man killer scent. So if you don't want like your daughter wearing something like that, then don't buy it. Um, but don't get me wrong. It's a very fun, flirtatious, girly, feminine, youthful sort of fragrance. It's so beautiful. It has a nice kind of little bit of a citrusiness in the opening, but it dries down into kind of like a sugary, sweet, um, just gorgeous fragrance. Don't buy YSL Black Opium. Don't buy Love Your Bell. Uh, don't buy any of them. I would go for the Poison Girl Eau de Toilette from Dior. And then my recommendation for the boys <laughs> is Versace Eros. The party boy, the player. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. Fresh, minty, intense, sweet. Oh, it's just fantastic. Both of these, to me are such great scents for a younger crowd who wants to have a little bit of fun. They're just growing up, they're in those teenage years, they wanna smell good, they wanna to appeal to everyone. I really don't think that you could go wrong with either one of these scents, so those are my recommendations. Next up, we have our more sophisticated, mature, refined, conservative people. And these are my two recommendations right here. So starting out with the women's, we have Chanel Chance, Eau de Parfum. Classic fragrance from Chanel, beautiful, um, elegant, classy, signature scent type of fragrance for sure. It's a little musky, a little peppery. 
There's a little bit of a floral note in there, but not too much. It's not an overwhelming floral. To me, it's a little musky, spicy, and a tiny bit of a floral, but it definitely has like a skin sort of feeling to it. It's a fantastic signature scent and Chanel Chance. For me, I think Chanel Chance is a very safe option to buy from Chanel. Obviously you have Coco Mademoiselle, uh, you have the Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, but for me, I like this one because it's a little more mature and sophisticated, which I think um, a lot of people that are attracted to Chanel fragrances are more mature and sophisticated sort of people in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, that's my, that's my uh, pick from Chanel. Okay, and then for men, we have Christian Dior's Eau Sauvage Parfum, which I have talked about quite a lot recently because I really love this one. This definitely is for a more mature man. I had some people commenting that they think it's like grandpa scent, but I definitely don't think it smells like a grandpa whatsoever. Fresh out of the shower, soapy, a little citrusy, woody and masculine, and I just love it. So for me, these are my recommendations for somebody in your life who's a little more mature, wants something a little bit more sophisticated and serious. These are the fragrances. So next up we have my mass appealing niche fragrances. These are them. So we have Maison Francis Kirkshawn Barker Rouge 540. Sweet. To me, I say it all the time. There's no other way I can describe it. It smells like burning sugar in a pan and you get that little like whiff of the, uh, the burnt sugar and that's what it smells like. But really high quality, um, just fantastic. Uh, really, really, really fantastic scent. And I also think the bottle is very beautiful to give to somebody. For the men, I have Miss Hane Hachibats. Now this fragrance is compared to Aventus, which I would not recommend getting. I wouldn't recommend getting Aventus only because I feel as though now um, a lot of the batches are very different to each other. It's a little inconsistent, but this fragrance smells along the same lines but in my personal opinion, it smells better. So it has the pineapple, it has the fruitiness, it has a little bit of a smoky touch, some earthiness from the oak moss. It is a beast mode fragrance. It lasts a really long time. Same with Baccarat, they both last forever on your skin. So you know that you're spending money on a scent that is going to last, which I think is really important. Especially if you're buying a fragrance for somebody, you want it to, you know, you want them to feel like, you made the right choice. You got them a scent that smells good and also lasts a long time and is, you know, worth it. So Nishane Hachibat to me is fantastic. I highly recommend it for all the men out there, 100%. And it's very mass appealing. Both of them, super mass appealing, massive compliment getters. So that's why they made my list. Okay, so next up we have my signature scent. You can wear these all year round. Uh, they're both designers and these are my recommendations. So. Over here, we have Christian Dior's Miss Dior Le Parfum. And I've never talked about this, but I absolutely love this scent. It has been on my wish list for so long, so I'm really happy that I now own it. I actually sprayed it here today. And to me, this is just beautiful. In the opening, it's um, it reminds me of wine, like a really strong, a little sweet wine, or like champagne even, like it just, it really has a strong wine scent to me, but it is incredible. And uh, there's a lot from Dior that I think people would maybe be a little confused because there's many beautiful fragrances for women from Dior, like um, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, there's a new Joy, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't buy any of those fragrances, buy this one. And the reason I'm telling you that is because this is a beautiful signature scent. It has beautiful longevity, it has epic longevity, it lasts on your skin all day. For me, this is the Coco Mademoiselle from Dior. So that's why I'm recommending it to you guys to buy your girl, somebody in your life, a woman in your life, Miss Dior Le Parfum. If you don't know how it smells, it's got some rose, some patchouli, it's got some sweetness, some amberiness. Like 100%, there is a beautiful amber note in here. Very intense fragrance, like it actually is very intense compared to the rest of the line of Miss Dior, because you have the Blooming Bouquet, you have a bunch of them in this line, the Eau de Toilette, but this to me is the most beautiful signature scent, very strong, very intense. So highly, highly recommend this one. I think you cannot go wrong gifting this to somebody who loves perfume. Okay. And then the counterpart is Aquadigio Perfumo from Giorgio Armani. Again, signature scent, easy to wear, wear it all year round, patchouli, some marine notes, fresh out of the shower, citrusy, intense, some incense, it is just fantastic. 
and that's why I'm recommending it. Do not buy somebody the original Aquadigio. It's so outdated, it's gone now, don't buy it. This is much better. You're gonna get your bang for your buck and it's a fantastic scent. So Aquadigio Profumo from Giorgio Armani. My two Marlies. I have a category for Parfum de Marley because you guys know how much I love the house. No, I'm not sponsored, I just love the house. So these are my two recommendations and I'm sure you guys would have expected this, so there we go. The first one that I recommend is the original Delina. Now I think there is no better gift that you could get your woman, a woman in your life, somebody special in your life, than getting them Delina. It's beautiful, it's feminine, it's rosy, it's peony, it's plush, it's just, to me it smells like femininity in a bottle and I love it so much. I have had the most insane compliments wearing Delina. Even if I didn't have compliments wearing it, I would still love it just as much. But the compliments make me kind of feel as though I'm not crazy for how much I love the scent. So I get crazy compliments with this. It lasts a really long time. So know that you're getting your money's worth when you purchase this scent because it really does last a long time. There's maybe only like three Parfum de Mali's that don't last that very, like, very long on my skin, but the rest of the line all lasts forever. So I just want you guys to know that. Now, I'm quickly gonna mention something like real quick. If you want to blow your woman away, it doesn't even have to be a woman, it can just be somebody in your life. If you wanna blow their mind, really impress them, you have a little more money to spend, because I know this is already very expensive. For me personally, if somebody did this for me, I would honestly be like blown away. I think to buy them all three parts of Delina, wow, I think that I would just like, I don't know, I'm always really like uh, blown away when somebody buys me a present. I think if I opened like a box of Delina, the body cream and the hair mist all into one package, I think I would like cry. <laughs> so I just wanna let you guys know, if you wanna spend that extra little bit of money, I 100%, like 150% recommend getting them the Delina body cream and the hair mist along with the Delina. Like look how beautiful that looks all together. And could you imagine like just opening it I think like it would just be so beautiful. So I'm just telling you guys, this would be like my recommendation if you could spend the money and get your girl something really nice. My other Parfum de Mali is obviously Leighton and I have one other Mali, that's it. I don't have any more. I tried to only include like the bare minimum <laughs> in this list, but the one that I recommend is Leighton. The reason is because this to me, this fragrance to me smells mass appealing yet it has this niche twist to it which is addictive which is special which is creative and it's honestly something i would spend my own money on this fragrance buying it for my partner like i would 100 percent spend my own money on this fragrance to buy it for my partner because i would love for him to smell like this so that's just my two cents you guys already know i also adore Herod but the only reason I didn't include Herod in here is because this is more um, versatile of a scent. Herod is more for the fall and winter, a night out, whereas Leighton you could probably wear it all year round and that's the reason that I included it. So I really think about my list and curate them very carefully of what to recommend so that's the reason I'm recommending Leighton. If you don't know how it smells it's got some cardamom, some apple, a little bit of an aromatic touch. For me, I always call it like an aromatic vanilla with some kind of like sandalwood, some woodiness in the base. <sighs> it is just freaking amazing. That's all I'm gonna say and it would be my recommendation for your man. If you wanna buy it for anyone in your life, a man in your life, I 100% recommend it. I wasn't really sure what to call this category but I'm calling it the beautiful, classy, expensive category. <laughs> I honestly have no idea, but these are the two fragrances that I'm going to recommend. So here we have Mikalef's Ylang in Gold. Now I really quickly want to mention, I just saw online that they have a holiday set with this exact bottle in like a box and I think it has like a teddy bear in it, um, like a, a candle or something like that. I just saw it on their online that they have like this box and it looks so cute. It's like in a white box, I think with some gold. 
and they have the Elangin Gold in the box. I'll link that down below anyways. I'm not affiliated, I'm not paid, I'm just letting you guys know. But this fragrance to me is beautiful, expensive, stunning, like stunning. And I have heard uh, from a lot of guys, I know a lot of guys really love this scent on their woman. Elangin Gold to me, it's just gorgeous. And can we just talk about what this bottle looks like? Do you imagine like, seeing this on your girl's counter like it's just beautiful the liquid has like gold in it it's just incredible the scent itself is beautiful it's coconut ylang ylang some floralness some vanilla beautiful scent i cannot say it enough beautiful and if i could marry this scent with a men's fragrance this is the men's fragrance so this is ombre nui from christian dior gorgeous 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 scent classy refined sexy actually no not sexy sensual it's a very sensual scent it has a little bit of rose some ambergris some bergamot some pink pepper oh my god it is just so stunning so 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 stunning so elegant so classy and i just love it so much so for me these two scents go so well together and i highly recommend them so i will link the uh, little box that this comes in if you want to buy like a little christmas package box sort of thing two more categories and then we're done so the next two categories are my like versatile um a little more like sporty fresh everyday very easy to wear scents so the first one is flora botanica from balenciaga this is a beautiful crisp uh fresh minty rose scent if that makes any sense at all it has like this um it's so hard to explain, but it almost to me smells a little bit like toothpaste, but in a really good way. So it has like a rose note, it actually has cannabis in this scent, but you don't smell like cannabis. It just has this kind of green touch to it, some freshness, a little touch of sweetness and some rose in there for sure. I really love this scent. It lasts a really long time, which surprises me because it is more of a fresher scent. Flora Botanica for me, it's appropriate all year round for any age, any time. It's just a fantastic scent. A little more sporty of a fragrance, which is going to go hand in hand with my men's fragrance that I'm going to talk about. Percival, okay, that's it for Parfum de Mali. Percival's the last fragrance. For me, this is the safest fragrance that you could buy from Parfum de Mali even more than Leighton, but Leighton is a little more unique and special. That's why it's in this list. So Percival for me is uh, sporty, fresh, orange, fresh out of the shower. It lasts forever on the skin. It is incredible. It has some kind of like a, um, almost like a little bit of a creaminess, like a woodiness, but definitely fresh, like really, really, really like a fresh scent, but it has some depth to it. There's fresh scents like um, Pacific Rock Moss that are more watery, more aquatic, more like that. This is still intense. Like it still lasts a really incredibly long time on your skin. There's way more depth to it than your like kind of typical fresh fragrance. A lot more depth and layers to this scent than your like kind of typical fresh citrusy aquatic fragrance is a lot more depth and i think that this fragrance is incredible it does remind me a little bit of chanel allure on sport of extreme but i love this way better and it lasts way longer so yes percival from parfum de mali those are my two picks for like a versatile everyday all year round sort of scent for any age like at all you could pick these for your 14 year old or your 78 year old grandpa so Grandma, grandpa, <laughs> both. At the end, finally, my two cheapies. We have Diesel Lovados Red Kiss. I love it. It's sweet, playful, sexy, addictive. Men go crazy for this scent. I do not blame you guys whatsoever. If you can't afford uh, to spend like a Parfum de Mali sort of money, I totally understand, guys, like 100%. I would go for something like this. Diesel Lovados Red Kiss, beautiful fragrance, sweet, addictive, sexy, like I said, very playful and very date night sort of fragrance. Big compliment getter as well, so keep that in mind. And then, oh, yes. My pick for the men is Davidoff Cool Water. I love this scent, it's such a classic. It definitely has a resemblance to Green Irish Tweed, but it is fantastic. This has been around for so many years and it still smells great. And that's coming from me personally, who has smelled 
a lot of fragrances by now like I have tried a lot of fragrances I wouldn't consider myself an expert but I have tried a lot of scents and this is still a really good scent to my nose it smells good it doesn't have the best longevity but who cares if you're spending this much money it just matters of how the fragrance smells so Davidoff Cool Water, Eau de Toilette and Diesel Lovedose Red Kiss those are my cheapy recommendations I hope that you enjoyed hearing my Christmas guide 2019 I wanted to try and hit every single category um, as possible so I hope that you guys enjoyed the list I hope that you found something if you're a little lost of what to buy for Christmas hope that I could help so yeah thank you guys for watching and um, I think that's it <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon bye